With artillery and gunships already assembled, Daniel O'Connell feared mass slaughter and he called off the meeting at Clontarf. The cancellation widened the split in the Repeal Association. Many were to accuse him of bottling it. Many historians will ask the question if Daniel O'Connell had been more resolute, if that mass popular movement had been taken that step further, would that have changed the course of 19th century Irish history in a different way that might have saved far more lives than the people who could have potentially been hurt at Clontarf? That's a bit far-fetched, actually, Owen, because, I mean, you're talking about a man who consistently, all of his life, said that he believed in political progress by peaceful means. I'm not convinced, and nobody will know, whether or not if he took the decision to proceed with a perfectly peaceful monster meeting at Clontarf, that the outcome in terms of positive benefits for Irish uh, uh, political emancipation couldn't have been advanced. When you're in a struggle to change society and improve the quality of people's lives, there are times you have to stand firm. And when you do, uh, well, you take a risk. With other people's lives. With your own life, as much as anybody else. It's grand else's. to take a risk with, with your, your own life. Martin, Martin, other Luther King, Martin, lives. Martin Luther King marched at the front of those marches. John Hume marched at the front of those marches. They were high-risk decisions. John Hume decided not to go on the Bloody Sunday march because he said, I knew that the paratroopers were trigger happy and I did not want people to be shot and I begged the organizers not to go ahead, he said to me in an interview, but they didn't listen to me and I had the most dreadful but, feeling that this would happen because John be very, Hume and O'Connell had that similar attitude, Olivia, you don't play with other people's let's, lives. Let's be very careful. Let's not blame the organizers or the participants in Bloody Sunday for the actions of British Parachute Regiment. I'm not arguing to sacrifice anybody, but when you are trying to change society, when you are, are, are peacefully confronting a, a, a power which is, which is oppressing and discriminating and excluding uh, uh, thousands and tens of thousands of people, I think at those crucial turning points, there is a challenge, and, and my honest view, and this isn't anything to do reflecting my, my view of contemporary society or politics, my honest view is that if they had stood firm at Clontarf, I think the eventual outcome of that would have been much more positive for Irish society. But again, neither of us will ever know.